Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. This week we're reading the third Aliyah of Achrei Mot. It's uh, Leviticus 16, 25 through 35. And it's about the festival of Yom Kippur. Uh, that's not my favorite holy day. Oh, why not? That's the day we don't get to eat. Uh, well, yes. Fasting is hard. I like to eat, too. But we don't eat on Yom Kippur. We fast. But why? I just read the parashah, and it says to humble or afflict our souls. It doesn't say to fast. Well, that's right. The Hebrew word for fasting is tzom. And here it doesn't say tzom. It doesn't say fast. But what it says, we read ve'inetem et nafshotechem, which means humble or afflict your souls. Even though these verses don't use the word tzom, there are many places in the Bible that tell us that it's the same thing. To fast is equated with humbling or afflicting our souls. Do you want to help me read this, these passages? Sure. Psalm 35, 13. I put on sackcloth and humbled or afflicted myself with fasting. Ezra 8, 21. There by the Hava Canal, I proclaimed a fast. So we might humble ourselves before our God, a safe journey for us and our children, with all our possessions. Isaiah 58, 3. Why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen it? Why have we humbled ourselves and notice? We are afflicting or humbling our souls when we fast. It's like choosing what to feed. If we had two dogs, and we fed one, but not the other, which dog would be healthy and strong? The dog we feed, of course. The one we didn't feed would starve. Yes. Now, we're not going to do that. We love dogs and all animals. No one is going to get starved. Yeah, except for us on Yom Kippur. <laughs> well, we won't starve to death. We're just choosing which soul to feed. The body or the spirit? Yeshua said, we do not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Wait, you mean we can eat the word of God? <laughs> exactly. When we eat the word of God, we grow big and strong in our faith, and we grow into the body of Yeshua. So that's what Yom Kippur is about. Well, that's part of it. We also stop feeding our bodies for one day, because when we stop feeding our appetites, our appetites for anything that is not God will shrink. We want to shrink our appetites for anything that is not God, whatever it is. If it's not God, it could become an idol if we let our desires for it grow too big. Wow, okay, is that everything? <laughs> oh well, that's a start. I don't think we could ever understand everything. But there is one more thing that's very important for Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is the Day of Atonement, when God cleanses us from our sins. He says in Leviticus 16.30, Before the Lord, you will be clean from all your sins. And He is the one who cleans us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shabbat Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.